Hi guys, I am Overland. It is November 24th, 2019, and I'm just waiting for this live to actually pick up. And then I will share my thought for this for this page. <clears throat> and also I'm trying to rest my voice cuz it's being funny. So, um, right before I came on live, I was thinking of a few things, and there's um, a apostle that's in our church, his name is Elder Bednar, and he gave a, a talk back in 2013, and it's called Let Us Not Shrink, and Throughout this weekend, I posted on Facebook that it's been like an interesting weekend. Um, different kinds of lows, but then also um, very joyous highs. And so um, the reason I wanted to talk on my weekend and also on that talk, I'm taking from the um, title, Let Us Not Shrink, is because um, I was on at a concert on Saturday. No, no, I went to um, my cousin's um, DJ, where he DJs on Saturday. And then I went, which was last night. And then on Friday, I went to a concert. And during both occasions, um, the concert was held in Salt Lake um, by a company launching from Provo or Orem area. They're called Disruptive Organics. And then um, my cousin, who's uh, who's a DJ out in Provo area, um, yeah, he, he was just like catering to teenagers and above. We went because we wanted to dance and we were super on the above scale of the age range. But um, what I got from both events was that it's so easy for us um, when we're put in certain places for us to shrink in our beliefs, ugh, in our beliefs and our convictions in our um, however you worship, whoever you worship. It's very easy when you're in, in, a, in an environment that doesn't coincide with your beliefs and there were moments throughout the weekend that I was disappointed in myself and then there were moments that I was disappointed in other people but the big takeaway was that aside from feeling like I did shrink in my beliefs here and there the overall picture and why I'm doing this live today is to help us all to understand that we know when we're giving our real try, when we're giving our real real effort in whatever we're asked to do. Um, and so for me, even though I felt like I shrunk here and there, I knew and I had already um, focused on what am I going to do moving forward? And um, I shared with my best friend that 2020, um, well, last night when I shared with her what would be my goals, um, I said 2020, I have three like keywords that, um, and you guys are more than welcome. Usually I don't want to share this part of me, but you're more than welcome to, you know, incorporate it whether it's these three exact words or three of your own words. But um, I was sharing with her, yeah, I know I've been slacking in my covenants and I've been slacking on how I know I should be, but I'm not going to beat myself up with how I've shrunk throughout this year, throughout last year, um, stop me from being better. We all go through our trials, and a lot of times, especially if you're a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, it's I've seen the common thread where people will fall away, 
and then they don't understand that the atonement is supposed to bring them back and that repentance is supposed to help them heal, not help them feel more persecuted and more down on themselves. And so I refuse, I've said it tons of times over the years, I refuse to allow myself or allow me giving anybody any anybody the power to keep me at a standstill because they know what I believe and I'm not living up to that. I refuse to let that happen. And I, f I refuse to let anybody that I love um, live as if they don't have any hope or any way out because that's what repentance is. Repentance is to help you come out of your, your downfall, your setback. Repentance is your comeback. But a lot of times, whether you're Christian, whether you're, um, uh, because a lot of people don't consider our church Christian, but whether you're a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, when you grasp the, the fact, not the idea, when you grasp the fact that repentance is a gift and that it's not just for those who go to church, it's not for those who pray all day, every day, is for everybody, then you're able to come from that space where you felt like you shrunk and you're able to grow. Um, so my three words that I told my sister um, last night was 2020 is going to be about being disciplined, being committed, and, um, and being forgiving like legit forgiveness, like immediate Christ-like forgiveness. Because when you figure out what happened to you and when did you decide to give up on yourself, then you're able to pick yourself back up. And so I used to be like super warrior status um, before 2016. Like I was like, I can honestly say that I considered myself a Saturday warrior, like exact obedience, or at least I was striving for exact obedience. But from 2016 to last year, I fully shrunk. I shrunk in my spirit. I shrunk in my convictions. I shrunk in my mindset because I allowed my environment um, people that I was in, um, in sync with, I let them get the best of me and I let my spirit give up. And so look up www.churchofjesuschrist.org um, and then the talk is Let Us Not Shrink um, by Elder Bednar and, um, and find your three words. And, I, and so anyway, so fast forward to us going out last night and then me coming home and then me wanting to just sleep my life away today. Um, my bestie was my saving grace, Caroline and um, Mary Lou. But Caroline, she's always forever taking us around. But she had a message and she's like, yeah, we're going to come to your war. And I was like, oh, well. If I'm still awake, then I'll go with you guys. If I'm not, um, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> and then as soon as I text that, the spirit took over. And I already, instead of waiting for New Year's, I have decided to start on those three words. Ending up this year and making it more of a lifestyle, um, lifestyle daily thing um, for me. So find your three words. You're more than welcome to use my words. Um, what did I say those three words were? Um, discipline, commitment, forgiveness. Discipline, commitment, forgiveness. When you're disciplined, you'll show up for people. You'll show up for yourself. When you're committed, you'll keep your word and um, you'll be dependable for people. They'll come for you and be like, yeah, I want to work with you. Um, 
And when you are forgiving, you don't walk around with this negative energy. You're not walking around with like, oh, so-and-so is trying to come at me or, oh, um, it's just ugly. And there's still like at least a handful of people that I, I still owe to Heavenly Father to forgive. Um, but it's baby steps, baby steps and do it with the Lord and then it can come faster, that forgiveness. So family that's out there doing your businesses, doing your outreach, doing, doing for the community and your families, find your three words, look up that talk. I'm going to um, write out the talk on this caption so that you can find it. Um, and just be about it. Um, I love you guys. I hope you've had a ha happy Sunday. And um, we will talk tomorrow. Okay, bye.